Uh, hello, I'm Sue Oakes. I'm Head of Customer Services for Dignity Care and Funeral Services. Well, customer service means everything to Dignity. We're very passionate about our customers and um, our ethos is service, service, service. And um, that's what we try to deliver on every single touch point with our clients, whether it be out in our funeral homes or through the contact centre. We started um, our um, Top 50 journey in 2009 um, one of the reasons that we decided as a team to um, join the Top 50 competition was that we really wanted to benchmarks, benchmark ourselves um, against other contact centres because we couldn't really benchmark ourselves against anybody else in the funeral industry because we're quite unique that we have a, a, a central contact centre. Um, so that was one of the reasons we wanted to look where we what our customers thought about us and what service we delivered and what improvements we could make. And we considered that the top 50 was the best way to go about that. I think it's invaluable for anybody that's running a contact centre to have this type of networking available to you. What I'm very pleased about is that everybody is willing to share their ideas no matter where they've come in the, in the top 50 competition and there is always something that you can learn um, you know I know we're number one but there are some things that I've taken away from the presentations this morning that we'll be considering imp implementing in um, the client service centre at Dignity for next year I think the reporting is absolutely fantastic um, the detail that, that you get and the sessions that you have with Lynn are just fantastic. Uh, the session that we had with Lynn last year, we concentrated mainly on our email because we weren't doing so well in that. So that was the area that we decided to concentrate on. And she gave us maybe four things to concentrate on. And we, were, um, we weren't even in the top 10 last year for email. And we were in six this year. So it was... The proof is in the pudding really, the feedback that we got from Lynn, we implemented the very next day uh, and I think that's, that's really good because not only do you improve your service for the mystery shopping type of uh, event, but you're improving your service to every single customer that touches your contact centre. And I think that is one of the reasons why Top 50 is so good, because it does get you up to the next level. We did a different approach this year. In previous years, we've been a bit raw, raw, raw. It's Top 50. Uh, but this year, we took a different approach. We, we sort of uh, announced that we were in the competition again. This was when the mystery shopping was going to take place. But we sort of didn't... Um, over egg it if you like and I think it became more natural to us uh, this year. What we do run every year um, as a reward for the client service advisors is each um, top performer from each team over a six month period gets to represent their team at the top the top 50 gala dinner. So we actually had two tables this year so we were out in force and we make um, quite an event of it. We don't just come down at the last gasp. We make a day of it. We go out for lunch in London. Um, all the girlies and the guys get ready and it's quite a build up and then uh, we're in constant contact with the team back at Sutton Coalfield telling them what we're doing and where we're at, photographs were being winged away so that everybody felt part of it and when we got back from the gala dinner we got back about two o'clock the following afternoon and everywhere there were balloons with number one and congratulations and you're entering the number one contact centre in the UK so everybody had, um, took it on board and um, enjoyed it really. W what we did was we looked at the reporting from last year and looked at the areas that we needed to improve on and then really concentrated on those areas and the areas where knowledgeable staff so we started mini workshops on areas that we felt we needed to improve on and sort of kept reinforcing the message, not just 
delivering it once and then forgetting about it, but constantly returning to the advisors and getting them to talk us through what session they'd been on and what they'd learnt from it. So constantly reinforcing the message really. And I think that play, played a big part in our success this year. I think because for me, uh, the top 50 competition is the only true competition that you get um, the customers feedback from. You know, there's other competitions that are out there for contact centre managers to enter their teams into. And basically, if you're good at writing a brief and say, this person is very good at this and this is why they're very good at it, um, then you sort of get the accolades. But this, it really is based on the service that you deliver to the customer. And I think that's very important. And any contact centre manager out there would be very foolish indeed not to enter the top 50 competition, in my opinion.